On the slopes of mountain Elgon, Webi Yusuf tends his garden. Farming has been his livelihood for years, but recent changes to ecosystems have greatly affected him. During rainy seasons, the water from the mountain washes away our crops. That brings us problems. Mountains cover 27% of the Earth's land surface and hold key resources for minerals and food. But much is now being lost. Now, more than ever, mountains are feeling the impact of climate change and that is affecting the communities living in these areas. It is hoped that with the increased global cooperation to tackle climate change, that will limit the damage it causes. But not all is doom and gloom. Progress is being made in designing protected mountain areas for the conservation of biodiversity. The new evidence, you know, that for example, 60 to 80 percent of the world's fresh water resources, they come from mountains. 25 percent of terrestrial biodiversity are in mountains. So when we look into the future, these are points, global important services from mountains, which need to be recognized in these global frameworks, but also at national level in policy making and action on the ground. Initiatives that provide opportunities to support mountain communities have also emerged, but failure to mobilize resources remains a major challenge. Mountain people, are, they have limited capacity to adapt, the limited resources they have. Because of this, they need a support from the global communities to, with their new knowledge, new technology, new idea, as well as financial resources. Many mountain communities remain isolated and are still unable to attract investment for development. Enhanced protection and awareness of ecosystems is now making it less of a mountain to climb. Leon Senyange, CCTV, Wanale, Eastern Uganda.